Hello my lovely ladies and welcome back to a new video. I am Urania. As a feminine woman, you always want to look your best and you want to be prepared. That's why in today's video, we're looking at the feminine handbag essentials. Ladies, let's get straight into today's video. When I was preparing for this video, I told myself to not make a long list. But the fact of the matter is that I actually carry a lot of items in my handbag. I will also show you the handbag that I use on a daily basis. And I also understand that you will not carry all of these items with you at all times. Because it depends on where you're going. If you're going on a date night, you often carry a smaller bag with you. So not many items fit in it. But when you go to work, you will often carry more things with you because your work bag is often bigger than your evening bag. So let this list give you inspiration on the feminine items you want to carry in your bag. I have also created an Amazon storefront for my Femme Daily, and many of the items that I'm mentioning in today's video will be in my Amazon store. I made a list called Handbag Essentials, so you will see most of the items that I'm talking about in this video on that list. I'll make sure to link the Amazon store for my Femme Daily in the description box below. This list is in no particular order, so ladies, let's start with handbag essential number one. Number one, a compact mirror. You always want to keep a compact mirror in your handbag because you never know when you have to reapply your lipstick or there is something on your face or food between your teeth. You always want to be able to see what you look like at all times. And that's why having a compact mirror in your bag is an essential. Number two, Travel size perfume. You don't want to bring your big bottle of perfume in your purse as it takes up a lot of space. And often you can find your favorite fragrance in a travel size. But something that I like to do is to use a travel bottle perfume. So instead of bringing your bottle of perfume with you, like a big bottle of perfume, what you would do instead is you would transfer the perfume from the big bottle to something like this, something small. And I'll make sure to leave these in my Amazon store. And this is perfect because you will always have the perfume that you put on in the morning with you at all times. And it's really small, fits in your bag perfectly. Number three, pocket sized tissues. So something like these, you always want to have a package of these in your bag because you never know when you're going to sneeze or when you're going to spill something. I always have these in my bag, but it's really important to have them in your bag, especially when the season is getting more cold. Number four, a mini hairbrush or a comb. You never know when your hair is going to live its own life or when there is a lot of wind outside and your hair is all over the place. So you want to carry a little brush or a comb with you so you can put your hair back in place. For reference, I wanted to show you the bag that I carry with me to work and it's this bag. So it fits enough. Number five, a handbag hanger. This one is a must if you don't want to put your purse on the floor. So this is the one that I have. Put it like this on the table and you hook your bag on this end. I often bring it with me when I have my evening purse out. And this is often my evening purse. And it's more of an investment piece, so I don't like to put it on the floor. And this item is also in my Amazon store. Number six, hand sanitizer. Our hands come in contact with so many different things in a day and you don't always have the option to wash your hands in the moment. That's why you always want to bring hand sanitizer with you because you don't want to touch your face or your food with dirty hands. And I think this is always a must to carry in your handbag, but especially how the world has been for the past two years. We now understand the necessity of protecting ourselves even more. I think Bad & Body Works has a great selection of hand sanitizers and we finally have a Bad & Body Works here in the Netherlands. But actually you can get these hand sanitizers everywhere. Make sure to have a travel size hand sanitizer in your bag. Definitely make sure to sign up for my upcoming femininity course. The link to sign up is in the description box below. And make sure to follow me on Instagram at myfemdaily. Number seven a lip balm or a lip oil. I think no one likes to have dry and chapped lips. So having a lip balm, your favorite with you at all times is very important. I am currently loving the Dior lip oil and I have the cherry oil one. 
And this one is also in my Amazon store. Number eight, your lipstick or lip gloss. You want to carry the lip gloss or lipstick that you put on in the morning with you for that day. Especially if you finish your lunch or your dinner, you want to reapply your lipstick or lip gloss, so always carry it with you. You don't want to be out of your house and have cramps or have a headache and not have anything with you to relieve you from the pain. So always bring pain medication with you. Number 10, a travel size deodorant. Especially in the summer, when it's hot and you're outside, you will sweat and you don't want to smell during the day. So having a travel size deodorant with you is always a good idea. I also have a travel size with me and this is the one that I carry with me. It's from Dove. Keeping this with you, it makes you feel clean and fresh throughout the day. Number 11, wet wipes. You could have feminine wipes with you or baby wipes. These are gentle on your skin and they're great to freshen up. And ladies, now it's time for a quote. I think that the quote is quite funny and it fits the topic that we're talking about perfect. A woman's mind is as complex as the contents of her handbag. Even when you get to the bottom of it, there is always something at the bottom to surprise you. Number 12, hand lotion. After you've washed your hands, you want to moisturize them with a nice hand lotion. You don't want to have dry hands during the day. The hand lotion that I have in my bag is from Rituals, from this brand, and mine is in the scent Indian Rose and Sweet Almond Oil. I absolutely love this one. Number 13, gum or mints. Because you always want to have fresh breath, also during the day. So be prepared by bringing some gum or mints with you, so your breath always smells fresh. Number 14, a hair tie. I think we've all been in the situation at least once that we desperately needed a hair tie and we did not have one with us. So make sure to always keep an extra hair tie in your handbag. Number 15, a mini makeup bag. You want to have a little makeup bag or just a little pouch in your bag so you can put all of your necessities in it and everything is not all over the place. You can have something like this in your handbag or you can have something like this. Just a small pouch that you can put all of your things in it. Number 16, blotting wipes. And this is a great thing to have with you when you have oily skin. The little sheets are a great way to remove excess shine, oil, or even sweat from your face. So especially if you have oily skin, make sure to have these blotting sheets in your purse. Number 17, tampons or pads. And even when you're not on your period, sometimes you might forget when your period really starts and then you're outside without a tampon. So make sure that you have tampons or pads in your bag at all times. Number 18, your AirPods or headphones. And this is a must for in your handbag because you want to listen to your favorite music or podcast or the MyFam Daily YouTube videos. Number 19, a card holder or a wallet. And this will contain some cash in your most important cards, such as your driver license, your ID, your credit card or your debit card, and definitely not forget your Starbucks card. Number 20, your keys plus a nice keychain. Your keys, just like your wallet, are a obvious handbag essential. And you can make your keys look feminine by adding a nice keychain. Number 21, a small snack. You never know when you're outside and you really crave a snack. And especially when it comes to the late afternoon, you'll be happy that you add a snack in your purse before you left your home. So make sure to add a snack in your handbag so you always have something with you to eat. And ladies, now I would love to hear from you. Please share with me your handbag essentials in the comment section below. Number 22, a water bottle. Just like bringing a snack with you, you also want to bring some water with you because you always want to be hydrated. You might be on a long commute and get thirsty. So that's why I suggest to bring a water bottle with you in your handbag. And there are also smaller size water bottles available that can easily fit in your bag. I'll make sure to add a couple of them in my Amazon store. Number 23, a portable charger or your phone charger. Portable charges are great and they can literally be lifesavers. 
there is nothing worse than being outside and not being able to charge your phone that is almost dying until you get back home. So for that reason, you want to bring a portable charger with you, especially if you're someone that's on their phone often, or you want to bring your charger with you so you can charge your phone when there is an outlet somewhere. Number 24, a stain remover pen. And ladies, this one is especially important when you are wearing white. I love wearing white and I think it's a beautiful color, but it can stain so easily. And for those emergencies, you want to have a stain eraser pen in your purse. Number 25, sunglasses. Last but not least, you want a pair of classy sunglasses in your purse. They make you look fabulous, but even more important, they protect your eyes from the sun. And especially in the summer months, you want to have them in your handbag. But even now in fall, the sun is still out. So having your sunglasses with you is very handy. And ladies, we came to the end of today's video. As I mentioned, not all of us are going to bring these items with us at all time. But what you can do is leave many of these items in your car, or you can leave them at your desk at work, or in your locker at school or at work. So you always have access to your items. I hope that you enjoyed the video and I hope that you got inspired. Make sure to like this video and I would love to see you here next week, same time, same channel. Bye ladies!